Today is the 75th anniversary of V-Day, when on the 8th of May 1945, Nazi Germany unconditionally surrendered, bringing to an end six years of war, which has seen the tragic deaths of some 50 million people, the majority of them civilians. Today I remember with gratitude the bravery of our armed forces, together with those of the Commonwealth, who for the second time in less than 50 years came to our assistance. Whether as regulars, reservists, hostilities only volunteers, or conscripts, those soldiers, sailors or airmen, they fought through thick and thin for the defence and the ultimate victory of their country, and I salute them. Sadly, time is not always a friend, and today few veterans remain with us. Among them, we especially remember Captain Tom Moore, now honorary Colonel Tom Moore, who last week turned 100, yet who still dedicates his time and considerable energy to the service of others. Perhaps we should remember that Captain Tom, together with many from Wandsworth, fought in the Far East, where the war raged on for two months beyond VE Day. I also remember the civilian services, the firefighters, ambulance crews, the police, the air raid wardens, the bus, tram and railway drivers, and the others who selflessly risked their lives, especially during the dark days of the Blitz, to protect others and save lives. We should also remember our merchant seamen, technically civilians, to whom few concessions were made, but who regularly risked and gave their lives, and without whom we would surely have been starved into submission. But above all, remember the comradeship of all on the front front who day in and day out, with strength, fortitude and good humour, simply got on with life, and often in the most trying and occasionally dangerous of circumstances. As I look around me today, I'm heartened to see that same fortitude as the citizens of Wandsworth, whether working for the NHS, the emergency services, the armed forces, in supermarkets and corner shops, or indeed the council itself, pull together so that the rest of us may get through the current crisis with as little pain and inconvenience as possible. Through them, the spirit of VE Day lives on. Unfortunately, we cannot, as we had hoped, celebrate the men and women who made VE Day possible with street parties or parade, and that is such a shame. Instead, I would ask you all privately to take a Two minutes to remember the men and women who made V-Day possible. Perhaps to remember members of your own family, and I will be remembering my mother, and to give thanks that at the time of our greatest need, they put service ahead of self and rose to the fore. Thank you.